Hey, what's up, y'all? It's TJ the DJ, and we got our guest co-host, West Coast Cassie, in the building. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Liddy. So she is a dope artist, painter, creative, like content creator. She's a lot of things. So it's so dope to have you. And we have some of her art in the back. So if y'all can, do you know, guide your eyes over there. Check it out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How you doing, Cassie? I'm doing good. Um, I'm excited to be here. Just a tad bit nervous. Right. I always yeah. get the little the little butterflies. Get the too, little then. jitters. I'm like, oh shoot, the camera's on. We're going. <laughs> right. We got hella lights on us. <laughs> but yeah, it's so dope to have you. So um, we're just gonna do a little mini interview, and then we're gonna start with um, the music reviews. All right. Sounds good. So where are you originally from? I'm originally from Orange County, California. Hey, yes. Nice. From a small Cali little girl. town called La Habra. Nice. Yeah. So when did you uh, move to Austin from Cali? Um, I moved to Austin um, in 2010, and I've been here like my whole life after that. So I'm pretty much Austinite as well. Right. Nice. Also from California. Cool. Hey, you got to It's good being from two places. Yeah, yeah. I, I actually love it. I'm from both places. Right. Like, you have two hometowns. I have both <laughs> cultures. Like, it's crazy. Dub. So do you miss Cali? Or how do you feel about Austin and Cali? So yeah. when I was a bit younger, um, I low-key hated Texas for a bit. It's like that, you know, teenage phase, like, oh, you moved me away from Cali or my home. And then, um, yeah, I didn't like it for a while. But then as I realized, it was really good for my family to be here. And um, Texas is just, like, affordable place and made our lives way easier, so... Yeah, it grew on you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then the art scene here is crazy. It's cool. Yes. I think it's cool as hell. So how, how um, I guess, have you gone to art galleries or, like, events over there and displayed your art in Cali? Um, no, not yet. Okay. But my dream is to, like, go to Venice Beach and set my art up there. I always went um, to the beach as a little kid, and I always seen people just set their art up. But I would love to go do that. And, of course, galleries, but sticking to, like, my roots, I would love to go back to the beach and just set up, like, just set nice. up, you know? Like, yeah, that's cool. It's, like, real, like, chill. Yeah. Um, so how did you get into painting? Or did you start drawing before and then it led to painting? Or how yeah, was it? Yeah, actually, you're right. Um, I drew all the time. Um, and I... I would paint here and there, but I always thought I would never be, like, a painter. I just did it for fun sometimes. But then I um, found out about these paint markers, so I started um, drawing with them because, you know, the paint markers. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain. But then I started painting more and more and getting better, so practice makes perfect. So <laughs> Nice. And so how did you get into making this type of art? Like, Because this is, like, hallucinogenic, psychedelic kind of vibes so i got into psychedelics um going into high school uh, my mom would tell me her like psychedelic stories she used to have when she was a teenager Dope. and i always thought they were cool and like crazy um i never tried any psychedelics um up until like probably junior or sophomore year um and then um Sorry, I totally went off topic. You, you, you <laughs> okay. said, how, how did I start making these? <laughs> yeah, like, how did... Yeah, okay, my mom, <laughs> my mom got me into psychedelics. Um, I thought they were cool, so I started looking up psychedelic art on Google, and everything was so bright and colorful. So I basically just stuck to, like, bright colors and going based off of, like, mushrooms, mm -hmm. clouds, acid, anything that's trippy. Yeah, but Yeah, nice. like cartoons, too. Yeah. Dope. So, did you start painting before you started doing um, psychedelics? Uh, yeah, I did okay. actually. Yeah, nice. I, I would um, paint these images because that's what I thought being on psychedelics was. Mm -hmm. It Dope. it's not. It's not really like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 like, it's, it's it's different. different. <laughs> it's different. So, but yeah. These are just based off of, like, my feelings. I love bright colors, so. Dope. Yeah, yeah I love it. I yeah. love it. All right, I'm like, oh, it's a vibe. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, so um, how um, do you do you like the Austin scene, like going out to be a vendor and, you know, around all these artists and other creatives in Austin? Yeah, I freaking love it. Um, I have a lot of vendor friends. I think it's just freaking awesome. Like, I'm an artist online, but making that connection with people in person is just different. And, like, you know, like, you, you the creative vibes are just awesome and everyone supports each other. Mm-hmm. Um like crazy out here to be honest and the love is real we're not trying to one-up each other we're just all trying to grow together so i think i think it's freaking awesome yeah (laughs) it it is a really dope vibe we love the austin scene we're on the back end oh yeah Yeah. (laughs) so dope um so do you have any up-and-coming shows or events or anything going on Right now, I don't because I have some vacations that I'm going to. Hey. I'm going back to California. Um, hopefully, I can sell my art at Venice Beach this time. I'm going to take some art down there. And then I'm going to go to Vegas, so hopefully I can take some art down there, too. Nice. Yeah, yeah congrats. We Thanks. love traveling. Yes. Lit, lit, yes. Lit, lit. Spreading the word. 